What's up, my beautiful people? I'm Ashley, if you're tuning in for the first time. And today is a hair tutorial featuring this gorgeous curly lace wig from West Kiss. As you guys can see off the bat, the nods are not bleached. I'm gonna be showing you how to transform this wig so that it looks super flawless without even bleaching the nods. So of course, as always, I like to give you a really good close up of what the wig looks like at the very beginning. This is the wig literally straight out of the packaging with nothing done to it. It, not even co-washing it and I think it's absolutely beautiful here's a close-up of the inside construction of the cap this one is 13 by 4 26 inches 180 percent density off camera I did go ahead and co-wash it and I used my Aussie Moist and this is what it looks like after it definitely separated the curls and calmed everything down but as you guys can see the knots are still not bleached and I did this intentionally I do recommend that you do bleach your knots if you're able to, but I know some of us are, you know, beginners and we're not very comfortable with it, or maybe you're just in a rush and you don't have time. So this is going to be the solution. I took a foundation that is my actual skin tone and I used three pumps and kind of buffed it in and then I used three more pump, three more pumps, I'm sorry, to buff it in and then I blow dried it until it was completely dry. Now this is going to act as a lace tint. Go back to the beginning of the video and see how the wig looked like without any lace tint on it and see how big of a difference that made just by tinting the lace. We're going to go with a center part for this one. As you guys can see, I went ahead and put that foundation throughout the entire lace. So even in the parting space, it's going to match with my skin very nicely. Sometimes I'll do the lace tint just on the hairline. It all depends on my mood and what I feel like the end result is going to look like. And for this one, this went ahead and made everything super perfect. Now I'm going to use my wax stick. I want to go ahead and start carving out and forming the hair to the way I want it to go. So I use the wax stick to kind of calm down the um, flyaways make everything look nice and soft and relaxed and pressed and done make sure I stamped out that parting so it doesn't revert and then I sealed out all that in with the electric hot comb for me you guys know this is my holy grail and if you kind of look at the hairline look at the huge difference it's making you know when you see a wig done by a stylist how nice the hairline looks this looks exactly like that and again i did not bleach the knots i did not tweeze anything out i just relied on what they provided and made it work for me and it looks awesome doesn't that look amazing of course if you want to go in and tweeze out your hairline yourself and customize it a little bit more i would highly recommend that as well but it just all always depends on your skill level when it comes to this I know if you're watching this tutorial and following along, you're probably in the beginner or intermediate level and you guys are looking for different ways to perfect your installs. So for me, I just want to make it simple and easy to understand and, you know, just basically be able to grasp the basics of installing a wig, you know, based on what you can do without bleaching the knots, without having to buy a special lace tint. We typically all have some type of foundation that matches our complexion. So that's something that you probably already have at the house. You already have a blow dryer. You know what I mean? So just using the things that you already have and the things that are super simple. And as you master that, being able to graduate and do, you know, more and more as far as bleaching the knots, plucking the hairline and so forth and so on. As I'm rambling, I'm also bonding the wig down. You guys know I opt for a non-glue adhesive and this one is one of my favorites as of right now. I like to bond down the center first and then I do side by side. One thing I noticed about this one, there wasn't a ton of excess lace around the sideburn area. So I kind of made it go almost like on top of my sideburns and behind the ear. But this one didn't have enough like excess lace to go down and make a huge sideburn. You can still like pull the hair in that direction and make the sideburns if you want to. But it just won't have the lace under it all the way down if that makes any sense. So if you're someone who does not like baby hair, I would take more of that wax stick 
brush it into the hairline kind of press it out a little bit with that electric hot comb and be good to go you guys know me i'm gonna go with a little bit of baby hair so you guys will see that and then we'll go into styling the length of the hair So I'm going to use my Cantu leave-in and then this is just a spray bottle with water in it. Even though I did co-wash the wig through the process of the install, it did dry up pretty quickly. So I'm just going to go in and get it damp, not too wet, just a little damp, and then apply product. I do use a lot of product in this video, more so because the wig is super long and I want the product to kind of set the hair so that I don't have to apply product every day. Stay tuned. In a couple of minutes, we're going to jump to three days later and I'm going to show you how I revamped the wig. One thing that may alarm you is that I am using the electric hot comb on damp hair. Don't recommend this. Don't try it at home. I like for the hairline and the top of the head to just be super flat, sleek, and flawless. So that is why I'm kind of going in and making sure that everything is flat. Absolutely love the way this one came out. From here, I went to go and take delivery of my new truck. So I did not finish out the video. But in a second, we're going to jump to a clip from three two or three days later when I went ahead and finished out this video for you guys. Also, don't forget to wear your scarf around the house at bedtime. This is gonna preserve your lace and your hairstyles. And here we are two days later with the same hair, the same install. I literally have not done anything to it. That day in between, I literally kept it in a bun. So it definitely needs a little bit of reviving. It's still um, holding on. Again, we did not use glue. We used a holding spray to bond this one down and there is no elastic band. So you guys can see two days later, two, two showers later, maybe three, um, everything is laying smoothly. All I have to do is kind of pull the curls apart and redefine them. So I moisturized the hair with a little H2O and then I'm just going to use a little bit of mousse. Um, when I have full hair like this, I don't like to go in and detangle daily. That kind of is what deters me from wearing curly hair. I kind of want it to be a simple, um, you know, hassle-free situation. So you see me kind of pulling it apart and using my fingers to rake through and define the curls and then I'm going to go in and kind of slightly touch up the lace I'm going to add a little bit of my holding spray to bond it down just so that it doesn't slide back at any given point because again it's not an elastic band underneath so I just want to make sure everything is good
Okay, so here we are. This is the same holding spray I used to bond the wig down originally. I'm just touching it up and adding a little bit more. It really didn't need it like if I'm just sitting and chilling. But you know, just throughout the day, I don't want the kids to be able to take out the wig or, you know, be talking and it's just sliding back. So I just added a little bit at the very center, at the very top, not necessarily reinstalling it. And it came out perfect. Okay guys, this is the end. I kind of feel like it's a little bit up here. You guys know this is my favorite spray bottle and I love it because you just have to like spray once and it'll just continuously spray. This is a third day hair that I've revamped. I came on and did the intro. I've been meaning to edit and get the video up, but it's just taking me this long to put some makeup on and come and give you guys an outro. So as you guys seen in the beginning, I used my Cantu. I've seen a couple of people use this, um, you know, like as a styler, like a leave-in um, on their hair. I like it, but I also like a heavier conditioner, which is usually why I'll use an actual rinse out conditioner um like the aussie moist typically because i feel like it's thick it's heavy it'll define the curl super easy it'll weigh the hair down so that it just kind of gives me more of a nice body and defined definition i guess um but that one did work good it wasn't bad i just usually like a heavier product so it's all about preference um and then yesterday however you see my hair when i first came on in this last clip is literally how the hair has been for the last day so i went and got or i did my hair on camera um i went out enjoyed my day with the family we got a brand new truck so we went to go pick that up came home i kind of put it into a bun day two it stayed in the bun and then uh day three here i finally went ahead and took it out and as you guys can see i didn't bother with detangling with the comb i kind of finger combed it and it looks amazing it's not like clumped together or anything like that but this time i did use a different product i used an old faithful which was the um mousse in the black container i think it's out there that is a mousse you guys know i use quite a few different mousse for different things that mousse there i never use on my hairline so when you guys see me come back with another mousse on my hairline that was completely different that one there i like for a styling cream and it has a little bit of a hold to it so what you'll notice about that one if you use that one on dry hair the hair the hair will be hard and crunchy especially on like natural hair because i did moisturize the hair it still has a like light hold to like these curls kind of have a little bit of a crunch to it but when I'm wearing hair like this on an everyday basis I kind of like it to have a little bit of hold so usually um, a great like routine or method to do would literally be to get the hair damp use a little bit of a moisture moisturizing conditioner I can't even talk like Aussie moist and then put a little bit of that on top for a hold and then use like a Denman brush to kind of like rake it and define the curls really good let those set and that will literally last you for a couple of days so if you guys want to see me do a video on that I will but it's kind of like a lock method situation where I'm not using oil but you're using like a couple of different products not even a lock method but like a wash and go type of situation even though it's a wig i think it would work good as i said before this one came from west kiss hair and their packaging is pretty much as the same as it always has been they did give me um i do find that their back their boxes always end up a little bit mangled through shipping and handling but what's great about that is they always end up giving me the um or they will give you to the dust bag so that you can store your wig and it'll look really cute. They also give a um, headband. You guys know how I tie a scarf around my edges always. Well, they give you one. And this one has their logo on it. But truth be told, like if you don't want to advertise for the meat, it also is on the other side, not there. Obviously, there's nothing wrong with rocking the logo. But, you know, some people just don't like rocking logo. So that's cool. This one um, does not fit glueless on its own. So they did include the elastic band to make it glueless, which is perfect. And then they gave me a pack of wig caps. Um, all in all, my only con to this wig was that it did not come with the knots bleached. But as you guys see, I was able to show you how to finesse the wigs. Um, and it looks really good and I did not even bleach the knots. The only thing I did was co-wash the wig, which you guys um, see me cut to that clip. And then also, the parting is not that elongated. I prefer like four to six inches of parting. This may be four. 
yeah it might be four I feel like I'm so used to six inches of parting now that four inches just doesn't seem like a lot these days but the last thing I forgot to do was to just add a little bit of concealer to the parting so I'm just gonna take my concealer that I always use I'll have it linked in the description box apply it to a eyeshadow brush usually I'll use a thinner brush but let's just get to it the thinner the brush you use the more thin the parting will look this brush is a little bit thicker and you guys see how me adding that opened up the parting and made the wig look a little bit more complete and it made the parting look a little bit longer back so that worked out perfect just don't forget to like pat it in or blend it out because you don't want it to just be sitting on top of the wig again if you do purchase this wig i do recommend that you bleach the knots if you are afraid to you guys can see it still looks good with the knots not bleached now i did do a lazy touch up on my um adhesive so you can kind of see it there but you know I did a quick and easy touch up it was two days since I applied it so yeah I don't really have any complaints this one is super long and full this one gives me beach vibes if you're in a little two-piece bikini I think it looks really good with a nice full hair look all the details and a link to this wig are in the description box as always also don't forget to like share this video turn your post notifications on we are on the road to 250k we are like maybe 6k 7k away from that so don't forget to share my videos let everyone you know know about my channel uh it would help me so much if you are watching this video and you're not subscribed if you go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you have multiple devices in your household go to your other devices go to the youtube and subscribe there too thank you guys so much for watching and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches